Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to recover, hack, Facebook account without email, password, and phone number. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here, since we don't have access on our email, we need to use our browser. So go ahead and open up any browser, maybe on your PC or in your mobile phone. But I suggest you use your mobile phone here because there are going to be links that's going to be hidden in the PC version. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to search for the following, which is going to be accessing and downloading. So in here, go ahead and open up this link here that you see that's the first thing for Facebook. And from here, we want to answer the question, what best describes your issue? Now, since our account uh, is, is about our account, we want to uh, enter or choose a selection here that says account accessing and troubleshooting. Now, from here, it's going to ask you, how can we help you with your account access issues? So in this case, we want to say my account has been hacked. Now from here, it's going to say, if you think your account was hacked, you can secure it by going to the help center. So let's go ahead and click on the link there. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the hack account section here. And from here, open up the section that says recover your account if you think your Facebook account was hacked. Now here, we want to click on the get started button there. And from here, what we need to do is we need to answer a few questions. Now here it's going to say, if you think your account was hacked, we can help you recover it. So first, can you, uh, can you tell us what is happening? So in this case, we want to answer, someone else gained access to my account. So go ahead and choose that option there. And here it's going to say, sorry to hear that and a lot more. And in this case, we want to answer in this one that we know I can't log in. And from here, it's going to ask you, do you have access to the phone number or email address associated with the account? So in this case, we want to answer no, I don't have access. Now from here, it's going to give us a link here, which is for facebook.com slash login slash identify. Now from this link here is we need to search for our account. Now, our account is mostly associated with a phone number or with an email, but if you don't have access to those, what you need to do here is click on the option that says search by your email or name instead. So let's go ahead and click on that link. And from here, we want to enter our full name. So in this case, I want to enter my name here and just click on search. And from here, it should give you options or accounts that is actually present here. Now, if you don't see your account here, what you need to do is just click on the option there that says I am not in this list. And from here, it's going to give you other options. So to help us find your account, please enter a friend's full name here. So if you remember at least one friend from that account, make sure that you enter that name there and hopefully you'll see your account. But since I've seen my account here, so I'm just going to go back real quickly here, click on cancel. And here we, I want to press on my name and it's going to say, you previously saved lo your login info to this device. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the try another way here. And from here, it's going to say, choose a way to log in. So it's either via email or the option for your password. Now, since if you don't have access on your email or your password, you go ahead and click on the no longer have access to this link there. Now, once you click on it, you'll be redirected to this page we're in. You will have to provide a few details about yourself. So in here, it's going to say, I've lost access to my login details. Go ahead and click on start. Now, from here, you need to provide a new email address for your account. So go ahead and enter that new address. And here, click on get code. Now, in here, you need to get that code from your previous or newly entered email address here. Now, from here, just click on confirm. And from here, it's going to say confirm it's you. So you need to upload your ID here just to verify that it's actually you who's accessing this account. So go ahead and click on upload ID. And here, choose the type of ID that you want to submit. Now, in this case, go ahead and choose that. And from here, click on next. And from here, click on the upload option there. And from there, just hit on submit. Now, from here on, you just need to wait any responses on your email address regarding the recovery free or face in your account now from here on you should be good
So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.